Hello and welcome to Modeling Misadventures. Now in today's video, we're going to work on the interior of the cabin for Thunderbird 4. Now if you remember, I showed you these interior parts that came with the original kit, a front console and a rear wall. And I was about to start working on these when something amazing happened. The guy that created this model saw my previous video where I talked about scaling it up three times and actually modifying some of the internal details. And what he did is he went back and completely redesigned the interior of the cabin at three times the original size. So now you can go and download a highly detailed cabin interior for Thunderbird 4 at the scale that I'm building this model in. Now come and have a look what he's actually done. So this just shows the parts for this newly designed interior. This is what we got on the original model, a fairly basic front console and a seat and a rear wall that wasn't particularly accurate. But here, just look at this. Completely redesigned front console. We've got vents, grills, switches, lights, knobs, levers to put on there. Then we've got the TV monitor that sits on the top. There's a space there to put in a photograph. We've got a completely redesigned seat. This is now accurate uh, compared to the original. At the rear of the cabin, we've got the, the radar monitor, the lower console with levers. We've got the fire extinguisher. And here we've got a, re a newly designed rear wall and this uh, door is now a proper scale and we've also got the auto lock door um, out to the airlock so it's a fantastic redesign and i've got to give a shout out to the designer of this for going to the trouble of making that because that is now an amazing interior for anyone who wants to make a model of thunderbird 4. now if you look at the interior of Thunderbird 4 on the television, it's got a grey colour. And I just got a can of grey spray paint and sprayed all the interior parts with it. But it wasn't quite the right colour. And if you're wondering why this channel's called Modelling Misadventures, it's because occasionally I do crazy things like this. I went to my collection of paint pots and found a little can of enamel that looked somewhat similar to the right colour and I decided to have a go at painting it by brush. Don't do it, it never works. This was the outcome. A truly horrific finish with thick layers of paint, brush strokes, absolute disaster. But the beauty of 3D printing is you can go away and print a new one which is what I did. And I got a new can of gray spray paint and this is the new rear wall, all spray painted in the new color. And this is about right. And I've also spray painted the front console. And I think that's looking pretty good as well. So the next step is to start adding a bit of color to these because they like bright colors in Thunderbirds and a lot of the uh, inside of Thunderbird 4 was painted bright red. So that's what I'm going to do next. Now I'm painting this with a brush because it would be an absolute nightmare to try and mask it and spray it. And because it's got lots of little small sections, it shouldn't look too bad when I put a couple of coats on. <laughs>
taken a little bit of time to get all those interior parts done, but I'm actually really happy with how they've come out. So there's a front console. I think that looks pretty good. I'm uh, really happy with that. And then here we've got the monitor and I've put a little photo of Scott Tracy in that uh, to make it look as though he's on the screen. Here's the seat. Now, I did modify this seat. I converted the vertical part into just uh, three ridges rather than four. Uh, that looked to be more in line with the photographs. Um, and I put these little silver strips down the edge because I've seen those on the photographs as well. And I also put a little metal rod here to support the headrest with an angle in it. But really happy with how the seat has turned out as well. On the back wall, this looks pretty good. Um, again, very happy with that. Now, I did have to modify this pipe. In the 3D printed files, this pipe was just a solid straight tube and I wanted to make it look corrugated. So I went to the trouble uh, on Tinkercad of putting discs on here, hundreds of them. And it managed to give me that corrugated effect, which I'm actually pretty happy with how it's turned out. Here's the fire extinguisher. I put a little sticker on there. And you can see here the little top secret sign. And these levers go up and down. How cool is that? And then we've got the auto lock door. Uh, again, I actually put the little sticker on here. It does come with um, auto lock written on it in indentations, but uh, I prefer it. We just print it, print it out and put it on with a sticker. So those parts are now ready to go inside. I'm not gonna put the monitor on in here yet because um, it'll stick up and interfere with me putting on the window and the painting of the exterior. So I'm gonna leave that like that for now. Now the inside of this floor is a little bit rough. So I actually, I've actually printed out a new floor. I printed out a sheet, cut it to size, and that's gonna go in there. And actually it will look a lot neater and tidier. Well, there it is. I've got the interior in. You can see the front console and the seat. I hold a light to it. You can see the rear wall. I think that looks great. Now all I need to do is think about how to make a canopy. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next one, I'm gonna be joining this on to the back end of Thunderbird 4 and starting to paint it yellow. But for now, I'll say goodbye, and I'll see you next time on Modeling Misadventures.